Hello everybody, Sanyo, Engineer, MBA and Investor and in today's video I want to talk about Vertex Financial Report just published recently and of course they make a special mention in one of their highlights about CRISPR. Of course they're involved with the CRISPR space owning 60% of CTX001, 40% owned by none other than CRISPR Therapeutics, the leading CRISPR company when it comes to the first potential FDA approved CRISPR therapy. Uh, of course, uh, this is my second video of the day uh, because I try to record the first video just a few minutes ago and I just realized it wasn't recording. So I just got to hear myself repeat myself here, but uh, you guys will obviously not hear that first part because it wasn't recording, right? But nonetheless here, tweeted by Yair, of course, shout out to Yair for publishing this out. Uh, I should have read this earnings report. I should know better. I mean, Vertex is so big in CRISPR. I should usually I should follow their earnings report because uh, the, they're bound to make these types of announcements and that's what exactly what they did today so uh, or at least the one that we we're looking at here so this was published of course yesterday uh, so Vertex reports for quarter full financial 2022 result and at the th fourth line of their highlight is the following I'm just going to minimize my face so you guys can see a little bit more here. Hexasara regulatory submissions validated in the EU and UK, US rolling BLA submission on the way. So we go through this, right? We go through this and we take a look at where they actually talk about the potential near term launch opportunities. And I want you guys to, I want you to pay a special attention to this line. BLA in the US in November, 2022 and expects to complete submission by the end of Q1, 2023. So we know obviously back in October, November, that CTX001 was submitted for the FDA. Um, and now here, Vertex is basically talking about their potential near term new product commercial launches. So that means where we get FDA approved, right? You cannot have a commercial product without, you know, FDA approval. And this is what they're talking about Q1 2023, end of Q1 2023, guys, end of two, two, Q1 2023 is really close. People don't realize this. This is like we're tying March to April and that's it. March to April, guys. March to April and that would be the date potential. Those probably towards Mar uh, April. Wouldn't be surprised if early May even, but let's just assume end of March, somewhere in April, we could have officially a response from the FDA that CTX-001 is potentially approved. I think that's amazing. It's, it's mind-boggling where we've come so far. I remember when I first started making these channels, uh, this channel, I had never thought in a million years that, you know, a company like Vertex would be publishing one of their highlights of CRISPR. But here we are, right? We still don't have any FDA approved drug. We're so early and this huge pharma company, you know, this is a veteran company. People forget this, but Vertex is a huge big pharma company. I would argue, you know, they've been the best performing company, not just in stock price, but just, you know, in terms of like programs and commercial launches and just revenues and so on out of all the big pharmas, if you take out the whole mRNA thing with Moderna and so on in the last three, four years, right? And obviously this partnerships was a great partnership for the CRISPR landscape, not just for CRISPR therapeutics, but for everybody in the CRISPR space, right? Because now you have a big pharma company like Vertex supporting having such such visibility in the biotech space and giving exposure to this type of technology, this program, obviously for their own gains, 60 own percent of their own program they own. Um, obviously, this program is going to make billions of dollars, right? Billion, billion. So the last point I'll make is, do you guys like think about it, right? Vertex is a seasoned company. They've already had a couple of FDA approved drugs in the past. They're in, they're ins and outs with the FDA, right? They're always in discussions. Do you think, right, would, they would put this highlight had they gotten a bad word from, by the FDA on CTA-01? You know, just speculate. Let's speculate a little bit, right? If the FDA came, and obviously they have time, right? There's October, November, December, January, now February. That's five months. For sure, they've been back and forth with the FDA, right? Vertex and CRISPR therapeutics and you, the FDA. Do you really think a big pharma company like Vertex would take this risk to post this in their highlights if they had gone in a bad word by the FDA? My speculation is no. You know, this is an educated guess. I don't think they would have. I think they have a lot to lose to by doing that, right? You gotta remember, these, this company is worth 
I think like when it, during the bull market, this thing was worth like almost hundred billion dollars, right? This this is a huge big pharma company, right? It's a seasoned veteran, experienced company. They don't have time to waste, right? They, they're not relying all their all their eggs in one basket on CRISPR, right? So for them to publish CRISPR in one of their highlights means a lot. And I want to give a shout out to Gary for pointing that out. Um, again, these are things we can miss, and obviously, I'm just trying to give as much as exposure for. All of you guys, uh, whether you're already invested or you're looking into investing in CRISPR, I think it's good things coming, guys. I'll end this video like this. As always, subscribe if you're not. Like this video if you found value. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a beautiful Wednesday night. Thank you.